Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another episode of Stardew Valley 1.5 here on Not Your Professional Office channel with me, your host Max. So, on today's episode we will have Jasmine's birthday tomorrow. Unfortunately, because Jasmine loves fairy rose, pink cake and plum pudding, I will not be able to give her any of those things. Unfortunately, therefore, I'm gonna have to give her a daffodil. So, yeah, not, not the best result out of that birthday. Tomorrow is gonna be sunny day. Unfortunately, because today is Wednesday, we cannot go and see Pierre regarding more crops or more seeds. However, when I looked into the sturgeon, apparently he is not a rainy day fish. He does show up or it shows up from 6 a.m. till 7 p.m. at the mountain lake, uh, so yeah, we're gonna try to get our hands on a sturgeon possibly. I'm not really sure if there is an optimal place for me to try and catch it, but it would definitely help me out, because if I would get at least two of them, then the next structures which I will eventually start putting down will be the fish ponds, so uh, yeah, we, we have some stuff that we need to do. Let's take a look at the fortune teller. Okay, today is a super lucky day, so I might have to go into the mines as well. But of course, I have to deal with all this watering too. Now, we do have a mail. Max, this is embarrassing. I lost my lucky purple shorts. I'm telling you because I think I can trust you. If you find them, bring them back to me discreetly. I'll pay, I'll pay you well. Thank you, Mayor Lewis. Now there is the fun option that you can actually take the purple shorts when you find them at Marnie's home once you level up your friendship with Marnie enough and you can wear the purple shorts which will be embarrassing or even better you can throw the purple shorts into the luau cauldron with the, the soup which will basically poison the governor and freak out everyone in the village so you have multiple options of what you can do to be perfectly honest it usually takes me a bit to get this quest done but we should manage okay dwarf scroll number two i'm not really sure if we have already donated yeah so i need the first one and the last one so i'm gonna sell this the solar sense is gonna stay with me, the coffee bean should be planted somewhere, so that until the end of the season I'm gonna get at least a couple of harvests from this bush, and then also this one. And that means that I'm gonna need my watering can, I'm gonna need to do all sorts of watering, so I'll talk to you once this has been done. Seriously, now you stop the music when I try to speed up the footage? You know what would be most fun if you can actually catch the legendary fish even at your own farm? That would be just awesome. I don't think I have any more speed grow left at the farm, which is kind of problematic because if I will not utilize speed grow immediately at the start, uh, this means that even those six hops which I have over here, which I'm not really sure if I watered. Um, this basically means that on the next day it's impossible for me to put that into the soil so that coffee will take quite a while to reach the full maturity. So the iron should be able to be dropped off, unfortunately I don't have any free space here so unless I level up uh, the fishing rod and start using the dresser spinners I am kind of in a bad situation. Now, I should be able to build the first two fish ponds theoretically easily, 
But the thing is that that also costs some money, so I'm gonna have to save up for that too. So that means that some of these things should be able to go. Now, speaking of things to go, it would be awesome if I can get rid of some of these geodes. This way will, or this way I can at least free up some of the space in my inventory here. Uh, so let's, let's think here. Let's think, is there anything that we can, no. No, not, not that I can see, nothing else can be dropped off at the blacksmith shop. Okay. So let's take a look at the yield of the mushroom cave. Pretty decent, pretty decent. I'm gonna start giving the common mushrooms to Linus in order to level up the friendship with him. I really wanna get my hands on the wild bait, uh, especially all things considered that I do not have access to uh, a good quality bait. Theoretically, uh, let's keep these two. And duh, 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 we should put something into those preserved jars. Do I still have that common cauliflower? No, unfortunately, I did use that one up already. So you know what? We're just gonna go with the strawberries. And that will have to do. For now, the strawberry jelly will earn me enough money as it is, but we're gonna need to clear out some of these things. Now I wanna keep the fuel snack. So how do you wanna go around doing this? Because honestly, I don't wanna start building the fish ponds yet because I wanna keep them over here. This is a nice place to squeeze in the fish ponds. Uh, I'm gonna see what I will do with the starting area over here eventually. The barns will start to be then built around this area. I might have to build one more row of the co cobble path over here. But other than that, if I would build the first barn in here and here build the stables, that should work just perfectly fine. We do have only five pieces of bait. So I'm going to actually take five of the bug meat and transfer it into usable bait. And because we want to deal with the geodes, I'm going to go first see Gus at the, or, sorry, Clint at the blacksmith shop. And we're going to see what we're going to get out of the geodes. And then I can go actually uh, to the mountain lake to try and fish out the sturgeon. Or go mining, because it's a super lucky day. I'm also hoping to make some further progress along in the mines. No food, no food, what a disappointment. Broken CD, you can keep that. For now, I have plenty of refined quartz. Alex is not working at the ice cream shop as of yet, don't know why. So let's go ahead and process these. I'm really hoping that out of the magma geodes, I'm gonna get something valuable or at least something to donate to the museum. Earth crystal we can keep for the mayonnaise machine, so that is perfectly fine. I'm gonna have to check if some of these can be dropped off, just to be on the safe side. Okay, so we can actually drop off two of them. What would be another decent spot for minerals? What if I would move the cog over here? and put you over here so that the minerals are all bundled together. I really don't want to be dropping off the diamond here or the dinosaur egg because I have only one. If I would have like two, then I would consider dropping one off in here. But uh, yeah, I'm not gonna be making dinosaur mayonnaise with that. I'm definitely gonna try to start off my dinosaur population with that one egg. It's gonna, however, take me the first coop to be upgraded so that Robin would install the incubator without that I unfortunately will not be able to process this okay uh the starfish or the dry starfish yeah that has been already dropped off so since I'm here let's try to fish out at least two fish I hope this will not happen 
or the same thing will not happen like on the last episode where I was fishing out nothing but uh, seaweed. Is this octopus? Did I just try to reel an octopus? It was really jumpy. So I'm not really sure what else could ha it have been, but yeah. It's definitely not going to be the legendary fish, that's for sure. I usually never seen it uh, pop up around here. But I am interested to see. Ah, okay, so it's puffer fish. Well, the good news is that uh, one puffer fish can go to the community center bundle. And another puffer fish will be required for one of Demetrius's requests. So if I will manage to reel in just one more, that would be super super awesome uh, unfortunately i keep reeling in just the uh seaweed so i'm gonna knock off the fishing here because i don't want to waste the remaining bait that i currently do possess you know what let's eat some of the salmon berries there is at least some coral so our foraging will go up a tiny bit it's definitely not gonna help me out that much financially Ooh. Uh, okay, the rainbow shell can be dropped off, so that has a nice selling price. I can try fishing here, but I don't think that's gonna be really amazing. And we're back. Sorry for that, it's just that my laundry was done. Yes, I'm doing laundry in the background, and my microphone is not picking it up because I have like 12 filters applied to it, so woohoo! Okay, uh, so unfortunately, the ocean is not working out that well. They're gonna most likely have to drop off the puffer fish at the community center. So tomorrow, Jasmine's birthday. Uh, rainbow trout. You can theoretically try to fish it out. And I totally forgot to show you the spot where I most commonly come across the legendary fish during the summer uh so let's see if we can reel in the rainbow trout it's a bit better chance for you to come across different species in this section immediately the first fish which i reeled in is the rainbow trout so that's an early and easy reward now who the heck is sebastian Oh man, this, this is... I should know this by now, right? I mean... Seriously, how, how many hundred hours do I have in this game already? Especially thanks to the channel. Come on, give me some fish. I'm not sure if I also dropped off the mussel as well at the community center. This way I would be able to get that finished okay the two baits uh muscle unfortunately it looks like uh in the fish tank yeah we did drop off the muscle i would require a clam i don't need to get my hands on a crab pot finally because th this is ridiculous okay uh sebastian let's cheat okay sebastian now i know who to look for? I just don't know where to find him. Cause he can be just about anywhere. Uh, purple shorts. Sebastian. Let's see if he will be at Robin's home. But first, let's drop off uh, buffer fish. Hello, Junimos. Riverfish specialty, yes, please. Now, what skip we will be able to only catch in the secret woods in Cinder Sab Forest, and the sandfish is actually in the oasis, so we're gonna need to fix. Awesome, I'm gonna have to shut down the notifications so that my friends are not popping in when they are playing something because that sure is gonna be awesome. Uh, Sebastian, is he home? And of course. 
not gonna be able to do that much. So, you know what? Uh, since we are here, common mushroom for Linus because he does love those. One heart, okay, I'll do. And uh, what's a decent fishing spot for sturgeon? I'm not really sure if this is it. Usually the spot where I fish the most is where I try to catch the legend. But with the limited window of time that we have left today to try and reel in a sturgeon. I cannot promise any miracles. Of course, I'm gonna get a geo. Come on, we got two more hours. Surprise me. Yeah, Sturgeon is a bit more jumpy. I don't think this is gonna be it. Another rainbow trout. Awesome. I think I wanna try and fish here. This is a really weird and interesting spot to try and fish in, especially if you cast a bit more towards the island. I think this is where you can come across the largemouth bass too. Okay, uh, this is weird. I'm not sure what this will be. Five forty. It's gonna be five fifty, which means six, and then we're gonna have. 7 p.m. Oh, okay, okay. This looks more like a sturgeon. I don't think this will be a pike. I'm actually really hoping that this is the fish that I'm looking for. All right. The fun thing is actually that if I catch one more or two more of sturgeon, uh, one of the sturgeon can be dropped off at the community center bundle, and I'm not really sure how far we are along in that bundle itself. And as you can see, I was able to reel in the largemouth bass. So this is a really interesting spot, which you will be easily able to find thanks to the fence over here. Come on, give me sturgeon, at least one more. Could it be? Could it be? That is if I won't screw this one up. Yeah, this is definitely a sturgeon. Yeah, Pike is not as jumpy. And also, Pike uh, does not uh, show up in the mountain lake, if I recall correctly. So that is our second sturgeon. And one more, please. One more. Uh, I want two because I always keep at least two sturgeon fish ponds. Because caviar has its own value. And sure, it takes a while for me to get the return even from the fish pond, but honestly, the requirements of the sturgeons are not that dramatically idiotic for it to become impossible. Okay, seven. If it's gonna go past seven, we're definitely not reeling in another sturgeon, so this is the last chance for this to be sturgeon, and this is not a sturgeon, which is unfortunate. Okay, but Sebastian is here, so I'm gonna give you the gold star rainbow trout. We're gonna pick up the almost 200 cash reward, and let's go to the mines. Uh, let's see if we will be able to get somewhat deep, but I'm not really sure if I will be able to clear out five levels with the limited time. Okay, that was lucky. I need to eat something, so let's... Okay, I see the ladder now. I'm, I am I want to pick up the uh, iron node. So let's at least grab some resources to work with. Wow. Okay, let's pretend that did not happen. I want to grab the coal at least. Don't care about the rest. Okay, so we did manage to... Wow. Clear this out in record time. Seriously. That, that was pretty damn impressive. Super lucky day, what can I tell you? 
Okay, uh, you know what? I would love to grab, however, some... Where was that level where I can do the fishing? I would love to reel in the ice pit. I talked about this on the last episode. So as I was looking into some of the species which you can put into the fish pond, the ice pip should be located here in this lake. And if I would be lucky enough and I would be able to reel it in, I should have a fish which is able to produce pretty damn valuable row which when aged has a decent selling price. Obviously it cannot compete with lava eel or sturgeon but it's up there. And I hate the fact that I'm pulling out the wild white algae and using up my bait on this junk. Uh, this is gonna be most likely the ghost fish, huh? Yeah, I would love to catch the ice pip. Unfortunately, I don't recall ever catching it, so I don't know if I will need the iridium fishing rod or if I need to, like, try to fish super close to the edge here. We have 11 bait left, it's 10 p.m. Okay, unfortunately not what I was hoping to get. Let's eat one more salmon berry. Come on, surprise me, ice pip. Let's see it happen. Okay, I thought it's gonna pop in usually uh, around this time it would sometimes when you play enough stardew valley you develop this reflex where you start pressing the mouse even before you hear the reaction from the tackle and from time to time it tends to work out pretty damn well for me let me know in the comments if you have the same situation Unfortunately, I keep reeling in only ghost fish. Okay, that's the copper ore. Not exactly what I was hoping for. Come on, work with me. I highly doubt that it's only the ghost fish and white algae that lives in this water here. Okay, okay. Ice pip. Ice pip. Son of a beeswax. Is it? Is it it? Am I? Am I? Oh boy! We got it! We got it! Man! Okay, cool. I can go home. I can go home. So we're definitely gonna be putting ice pip into a fish pond. I have no idea how or what this fish will require. So if it's gonna ask me to put in like sardine or anchovy or something from the uh, spring season, then I'm screwed. On the end of the last episode, we had that avalanche which cleared out the rubble, which uh, now allows me to go to the spa. But I still have enough salmon berries, well, 11 of them. I'm definitely gonna have to invest into kitchen and upgrading my house in order to be able to uh, sustain myself. Because without the capabilities or the forageables, this will just simply not work out well for me. Okay, so we are gonna be selling a stupid amount of stuff, including another set of strawberry jelly. So, we are selling the chubs, a rainbow trout, largemouth bass. And I wanna keep the ice pip and the sturgeon. And of course, I don't have enough free space, because, sure, why would I? Oh yeah, I totally forgot to sell the crystal dagger. Ah, that's, that's fine. What I need to not forget is put two additional strawberries in here. Try to catch one more fish. Tomorrow, if I'm gonna have enough money, I'm gonna try to expand the farming even bit more. That is if I will not be catching just trash. And what else should we try to do? Theoretically, if I would have 5,000 gold, I will try to put in the upgrade for the axe so that I can start clearing out the big logs and get access to the 
secret woods so that mm -hmm. I can start chopping down the uh, hardwood there and gaining some stupid amount of foraging experience and also potentially getting the mahogany seed so that we can start growing those mahogany trees at the farm. It's actually unfortunate that there is no tapper which can be installed on the mahogany. Ooh, a ruby. Okay, I'm quite sure we did not drop off a ruby at the museum as of yet. As well as a diamond, but I kind of want to hold on to those things for now, maybe. Uh, so, yeah. So we need to do a few things. Okay, level 9 fishing. Really nice. Seafoam pudding. Disgusting, but okay. I'll take it. So, we sold two pickled cauliflower and two strawberry. And as you can see, the cauliflower obviously has better value, but we got a whole lot more strawberry jelly throughout the spring season. Uh, the mushrooms are pretty nice yield. A fishing... Yeah, that's pretty decent. The halibut was the most valuable fish. Mining the tiger's eye, 279 or 275. And yeah, mostly the white algae earned me money here. Okay. So 4,181 gold is the total yield for today. Now, of course, uh, we're gonna get more money today let's take a look at the weather report so next episode is gonna start off with a sunny day i just picked up the decorative plant today is a neutral day and living off the land here's a rundown of the fish you can only find in summer dorado found in the forest rivers during the day rainbow trout found in the forest rivers and in the mountains during the day Puffer fish found in the ocean in the early afternoon and octopus found in the ocean during the morning. Catch them while you can. It sounds super tempting but I don't even have enough money to upgrade the fishing rod but I do have enough money to upgrade the axe so that is exactly what we are gonna do right after I put back the decorative plant. Okay uh so what? Oh, seaweed has washed out here. Okay, we're, we're definitely selling you. We're gonna sell the porridge and the refined porridge. Sure, why the heck not? Let's take a look at the mushroom cave. And I'm actually tempted to go fishing. Ooh, this looks interesting. What is that? Ooh, bunch of geodes. Nice. Cackle. No, we need, unfortunately, the clam, so this will not do the trick. I'm not sure if I would be able to fish out octopus here at the beach, and on what spot should I try to do so. Because obviously, behind the house, there is not enough deep water. And maybe trying to catch it somewhere from the pier ooh grape that is awesome that that is awesome there is actually three of them and what i tend to do if my farming is high enough is put these into the seed maker and i do that because if you put the wild grapes into the seed maker then during the fall season you have the grape starter and you can save up money on this so let's see if we can reel in some octopus Unfortunately, so far, a neutral day is showing its color. A last piece of bait. That is not good. That is absolutely not good. I'm gonna drink the Joja Cola, despite the fact that I'm not a huge fan. Okay, so we're gonna have to go see Clint. Uh, we're gonna have to go see Pierre. We have to give a gift to Jasmine. That's a lot of people to interact with. And I still have not even watered all of my crops. And I'm not really sure what is the best spot to look for octopus. Or if this pier can potentially give me the chance to come across 
an octopus. It would be awesome if it would, because this is the ocean water, after all. Yeah, octopus is super jumpy. This is definitely not octopus. Okay, five copper ore. I'll take that. Not really sure how much time do I want to spend here. It's gonna take some time before I get some money out of the crops which I have planted. Especially if I want to go with more crops. But with the 2138 gold that will be left, uh, I don't know if I want to spend all of it. Theoretically, what I might try to do... Ooh, a muscle. What I might try to do is keep the fish which I have. And instead of buying more crops, I just might go ahead and purchase uh, two crab pots if I will have enough money from the red mullet and the flounder and the oyster and the mussel. Ooh, coffee! Coffee is done! Awesome! That is so awesome. So that's four coffee beans. So that is definitely gonna be planted. But uh, I need to first manage somehow the space or my inventory in general. So let's drop off whatever it is that I do not require. Okay, so mushrooms. These are gonna be sold at Willy's. We're taking five of these so that we can start the upgrade on our axe. Which means theoretically I can take the geodes too to crack them open. Maybe something valuable is going to come out of that. Or theoretically let's not spend money because if I want to get... Whew, that's 1500 for one of the crap pods. So... I would need to be at 8,000 gold in order to guarantee that I can get two of the... Huh, how do we want to do this? Two of the crab pots. I'm thinking, what if I were to purchase first the crab pot? Okay, hold on. Let, let's do a little math. So if we have 7,138 minus 3,000. That's 4,100... 29 gold left and I need 5,000 in order for me to be able to upgrade the axe I'm thinking I really need to think this through because uh It can have some really bad effects on what I will do here. So we're taking Daffodil for the birthday girl. Uh, <laughs> oh man, this is, this is tricky. I can theoretically take one catfish. I really hate the fact that I'm trying to force this. The sea urchin can be dropped off at a community center. But I'm really hoping that we're going to come across more of them, especially because during summer season, there is that specific event which allows for more forageables to be found at the beach. Also, theoretically, there might be forageable stuff at the beach. So I'm, I'm going to... Oh man, this is going to be tricky as heck. So how do you want to do this? And the biggest if is uh, if Willy is even at his shop. 
fueled snack. I'll take that. Thank you. So Mayor is working on his stuff. That's perfectly acceptable. The primary concern for me is the upgrade of the axe. So on the end of the next episode, I should be able to get that back. And by doing so, I should be able to, therefore, okay, they are not yet over at the museum. Oh man, I'm gonna drop off the ruby. This, this is gonna kill me. Rubies, emeralds, diamonds, if I come across those, I rather not hand them away. I rather sold, sell those, but we'll see what I will be able to do here. Okay, there is a high concentration spot, so I'm gonna try to fish out whatever I can. It'll be those few gold coins uh, which might make that difference. Okay, this is a bit jumpy. This is probably a pike. Yep. Uh, those few fish uh, might be the difference for getting two crab pods. That's another pike. Also, I'm gonna have to see if there's gonna be any forageable at the beach too. So, that was just three fish, high concentration spot. It's uh, disappointing. I'm gonna have to find jasmine somewhere. And this is a bit more uh, stressful for me because Jasmine has a certain schedule. Come on, give me something forageable. Son of a beeswax. Okay, and the spot where to try and catch the legendary fish for me usually works around here. However, with fiberglass rod and zero bait equipped and a neutral day, no trout soup to level up my fishing skill despite the fact that I'm at level 9. It's like 0.005% chance uh, I'm gonna get the bite from the legendary fish here. So you will get the bite eventually from something, but it's less likely it's gonna be that fish. However, tilapia needs to be dropped off at the community center, so... You know what? Perfectly happy with that. Uh, please, Willy, be at your work or your store if you're gonna be here I'm gonna be one happy camper ahoy come in make yourself at home I that's good stuff there the fish go crazy for it just uh, make sure you wash your hands good after dipping them in those juices the aroma has been known to linger for two seven weeks, lad. Damn. So, you've been catching a lot of fish? Yes. Aha! A man after me own heart. You can always trust a fisherman. That's what me old pappy used to say, at least. <laughs> well, keep it going. If you can catch every fish in these waters, I've got a special prize waiting for you. Sounds tempting. What's wrong? Aye, well, business has been tough lately. It's all started about the same time that all community center fell to ruin. Me fish just don't sell like they used to. I've been working double time just to make ends meet. No time for me own projects, but if things pick up back around here, I might have the time to show you something. Haha, <laughs> yep. She's back there. An old friend that's been that's seen better days. Okay, so he's obviously referring to the ship. But Someday, lad, you'll see what I mean. Okay, so this is why probably people might refer to the community center as the thing that might have to be fulfilled in order for you to be able to gain access. Yes, I can get two of them. 
Oh, so Iridium Rod, this is gonna take time. I have 156 gold uh, in savings. I have zero bait. I have like five bug meat left at uh, my farm, so that that's not looking great. I still have not given the birthday gift, so I still need to do this. I should drop off the tilapia at the community center eventually. This is a bit jumpy, so... Tuna? Yes! Okay, so we have two fish that can be dropped off at the community center now. I need the rainy day for the small rain- uh... Sorry, for the small red fish, I totally forgot its name. But other than that- Ooh, okay, damn, this is probably a puffer fish. So trying to get uh, the treasure chest is uh, kind of pushing it here, but I'm kind of desperate for something rare to be dropped. And because this is a rare fish, I'm really hoping that I'm not gonna pull out two pieces of bait out of the treasure chest. That is if I will be able to reel this boy in. Or girl. Come on, boy. I know you want to be turned into tasty sushi, because who doesn't love poisonous fish as sushi? Oh wow, 12 pieces of coal. I'll take that. Do you know why? Because I should have enough coal now to make even more preserve jars. So we're gonna give this to the birthday girl, and that has taken care of that. And look at that, even high concentration spot has popped in. So we'll start to use it. Because even without the bait, this will definitely help me out, especially with my financial situation, which has suffered tremendously. I'm gonna need to find a decent spot for the crab pots. I'm thinking behind the house because it's the closest location. I'm really hoping that I will not be pulling out trash out of there. And I think the crab pot bundle will give me crab pot as a reward. Or maybe two. So I might double the profit from that, theoretically. Okay, now I'm starting to pull all, all sorts of junk. Please keep giving me fish. Stop giving me seaweed. I don't have kitchen yet for maki rolls. I really need to upgrade that house. But the two additional preserve jars would definitely help me out. Unfortunately for the hops, I'm gonna need kegs. And for kegs, I'm gonna need more oak resin. I have only two tappers installed as of yet. So that will definitely not uh, satisfy the need for my production, which I'm planning to do. Is that it? The high concentration spot is over, so we're gonna move out. Because without the bait, it's actually super difficult to try and reel in any high-value fish. Now, I'm gonna try to go in the, into the cinder sap woods uh, to show you a decent spot which I found for catching Dorado. I'm not really sure how it will work uh, with the fiberglass rod without any bait equipped. But uh, this spot usually never disappoints me, specifically related to Dorado itself. And we got the maple syrup at least ready. And I would appreciate if there would be any forageable here, but... No go. Okay, so a pretty decent spot to catch the Dorado is around uh, here. I'm not really sure if you're gonna have the same experience, but this is what works for me on the PC version, that is. I'm not really sure if there is a major difference in the console, but just to let you know that I usually tend to come across the Dorado in this location. Now this was obviously not the Dorado, but... Uh, this is the spot where I tend to come across it. You can, of course, try the wider section over here, but it's in between these two islands. 
I'm not really sure if you're gonna have that much difference if you try to fish from the small bridge connecting you with the island. But let's see, uh, it's 6, 10 p.m. Neutral day. Getting my hands on a lot of copper would be also beneficial. Or copper bars so that I can make the tappers for the oaks here. Come on, Dorado, let's see it. This is a bit more jumpy. I don't think this will be pike, who knows. Rainbow Trout. Yeah, so most of today's income will be funded by the fish. Which is perfectly fine. I mean, there will be those few mushrooms. But we did manage to give Jasmine her birthday gift. We did manage to put in the upgrade for the axe. And when I get the steel axe, that is gonna start clearing out the farm pretty damn rapidly. Also, we're gonna be able to get into the secret woods, as I said already. And yeah. That will be probably it for the episode. I still have to do the watering of the crops, so that's gonna take some time. So, yeah, I'll probably like finish off somewhere around here. If you have any questions, concerns, comments, uh, please feel free to let me know in the comment section. Uh, if you have any tips or whatever, or something you want to share, please feel free to do so. I publish content on a weekly base, I do mostly playthroughs, I do discussions, early in-game reviews, tips and tricks videos, stuff like that, so go check out the channel, link is in the description. I'm gonna wish you a pleasant rest of the day, hopefully you are staying safe, and I will see you in the comments, or at the next one. Thank you for watching everyone, and goodbye.